Simon from simonwood.com. Welcome to Wine FAQ. Today's question, why are some wines labelled by grape variety and why are some not? Well, um, that's just the way it is. Uh, once upon a time, uh, wine came from uh, traditional parts of Europe and when you went to that place, you bought the local wine. People didn't actually really look at too much about what the ingredients were. It was only, it only really been in the last uh, 100 years, and especially in the last 50, that people looked at Bordeaux and thought, actually, Bordeaux is made from a range of different grape varieties, mostly Merlot and Cabernet Sauvignon. And people didn't look at uh, red Burgundy. They, uh, they just thought, I am buying red Burgundy. I'm buying it from this particular village. I'm buying it from this particular vineyard. Now, does that make it complicated? Well, it does make it a little bit complicated. Um, but think of it this way. Um, do you bother about what great variety there is in the wine when you buy champagne? Or when you buy port? Or when you buy uh, Rioja? Or when you buy Chianti or Valpolicella? Those are all wines that you've come to know, you've come to understand because of familiarity. And similarly, with, uh, with grape varieties, if it says Cabernet Sauvignon on the label, if it says Chardonnay, if it says Syrah or Shiraz on the label, you're sort of familiar with what the wine's going to be like. But what if it says Vermentino, or what if it says Londolel, or what if it says Turiga Franca, or what if it says Verdeco? Uh, these are all grape varieties, and um, surely putting those things on the label uh, can be just as puzzling to some people as uh, slapping a village name or a regional name on, on a wine label. I'm afraid the bad news, actually it's quite good news because it's quite an entertaining process. You've got to do a little bit of experimentation. You've got to do a little bit of learning yourself. So um, I, I, this is what I advised in the grape variety video. If you're buying wines and you buy purely by, uh, normally by grape variety, you go in and you see whatever Chardonnay's on offer or whatever Sauvignon Blancs are looking good that week. Yeah, by all means, stick five of those in your little uh, carry case, but then find something uh, that is uh, from another country and it's got something on the label which you don't understand. Often, um, if you're buying in certain places, there'll be uh, some information on the back label telling you a bit more about it. You've got to do a little bit of research, but the good news is it's wine, so the research is fun. And think about it this way. Um, yes, it would be great if it had both on. It had both the region and the, uh, the, the ingredients in terms of the grape variety. But it doesn't work like that. If you're buying a New York strip steak, for example, it means something to you if you're in the States, but it, or a key lime pie means something there, but it, if you ask a normal person in England, they go sort of go, what? Similarly, if you were to say to uh, someone in the States, oh, it's had some terrific Lancashire hot pot, or I had, um, oh, what else is there? Um, Melton Mowbray pie. Uh, or have some, yeah, I mean, look at cheeses. Cheeses aren't, aren't named by ingredients. They're named after the place in which they, uh, uh, they were traditionally produced. So um, you can't have it both ways. You've got to learn, but as I say, the process is far more enjoyable than trucking your way through loads of cheese. But even more enjoyable is maybe doing the two side by side. I don't think I'm getting to FAQ cheese, but um, maybe that's for someone else to do. See you soon.